It reduce your print time by two times. Hello and welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I would like to talk more about CAMP, which is Clipper Meshing, K-A, Clipper Adaptive Meshing and Purging. I want to talk about the ups and downs of using CAMP. Can CAMP make your 3D print faster? I'll be timing the normal way the printer print. Then the second tab will be using CAMP, how it comes from factory. Then for the third task, I'll be using CAMP but my modified version of it. So let's scratch today's topic. Okay, so how this test will be set up is the printer will just be at its normal state. You just turn on the printer and then you click print either from your printer or from Creative Pens or Gas Slicer, any slicer that you are using with the calibration, the homing, the nozzle wiping, and the purging line, all of that. So how this test is gonna be is I will start the timer as soon as I hit print. Then when the nozzle goes down to towards the bed and it touches the bed, start laying its first layer, that's when I'm gonna hit stop. I just wanna see how long it takes for the cable max to start printing. Okay, so I'm in camp setting and I believe to turn off camp is just to um you know comment all these out. I'm gonna comment this one out too from camp. And I believe this will put the printer back to its original setting the way it comes from Creality. Okay, apparently I get an error for commenting this, so I'm gonna uncomment that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is, as soon as I hit print on Orca Slicer, I'm gonna start the timer, and as soon as the nozzle hits the bed, when it starts printing, I'm gonna hit stop. Okay, so I'm gonna hit upload and print on Orca Slicer, and then start the timer. Everything has been warmed down. I changed all the setting in the printer and now I'm gonna do the second test which is camp in three, two, one, let's go. Let's get into fluid and I'm gonna do the customization that I did to the file. Okay, so the first thing I do is go into camp, disable start print from camp up here. By putting a comment in front of start print, I save it. Now I go to G code macro and I create my own start print. So I'm gonna uncomment everything from a custom start print. Okay, I just uncommented everything from my start print. And as you can see here, I did not write all this myself. I took all of this from camp. And what I did is as you can see right there, CX nozzle clear. I comment that out because for me, there's no reason for the nozzle to clean at the back of the build plate. Okay, so I'm gonna click start print right now on Orca Slicer and start the timer right now. Okay, I stopped it. We will be talking about the results right now. Okay, so let's go over the result right now. I'll be putting the timer right here for each one of them. Before we start talking about this, um, there are a few key factors that will increase the time, decrease the time. So I believe one of the first factor is the printing temperature. If you need to heat up your bed to a higher temperature, it's going to take longer. The nozzle heat up very fast, so that doesn't really count. It might shave like 5 to 10 seconds, but it's only the bed. The second thing is how big of a print you are printing. If you are printing the whole bed, then it doesn't matter, the stock or camp or my version of camp is going to take quite longer because it got to probe the whole bed. But if you're printing small, teeny tiny pieces, camp and my version of camp is the way to go. So let's look at the time for each one of them. As we saw on the time lapse for the stock calibration, it took 8 minutes 43 seconds. Oh boy. I know, I know. You might say that uh, I don't, I print without calibration. If you're using Orca Slicer, and you send the print over, it's gonna do the calibrations no matter what. <laughs> but most of the people are doing the calibrations before they print. So in total, it takes around 8 minutes 43 seconds for the printer to actually start printing. And that is a long time in my opinion. Just calibrating and stuff like that before the print even starts. And let's say you are doing like a 5 minute print, right? And an 8 minute calibration is longer than the print. It doesn't really make sense. but. And this is the main problem. Even if you wait 8 minutes doing the calibrations of the print before the print even starts, and let's say the print fails, <laughs> you gotta wait 8 more minutes just to do another print. So that is very time consuming. 
and you want to produce 3D prints part as fast as possible. That's what people want to achieve while 3D printing. Let's talk about camp way of doing it. Well, it reduces a lot of things. It reduces by only probing this teeny tiny spot that you are 3D printing or however big your model is. If your model is small, it's just going to probe like a couple of times. But one downside is that if you print on the whole 300 by 300 area, it's just going to purge right in the middle and you got to get rid of that before it actually starts printing or else your print is going to be ruined. But it reduces the time down to 5 minutes 43 seconds, which is a ton. Well, that basically reduced by 3 minutes, and yeah, 3 minutes is a lot. And consider it only probed that teeny tiny spot that you are printing. It's nice, and the purge line is like right in front of it, so it does not have to move a long way, and the filament is not dropping out, so that is very amazing. But the main factor here is the time when it starts to actually print the 3d model 5 minutes 43 seconds that's good even if the print fail you just gotta redo it and then it's just gonna take 5 minutes 43 seconds it almost take two times less than what the stock of the k1 max can do but let's go to the third one which is the one that i configure or i kind of modify the g code so that it doesn't do the nozzle wipe at the back of the build plate why? Because I don't like it. It ruins your beautiful build plate like the carbon fiber one. If I couldn't know how to change that earlier before I, I before I use my carbon fiber build plate or any other beautiful build plate that I bought, if you haven't seen those, go watch go watch those video. It's gonna be up here. So my configuration of camp not using the nozzle wipe at the back of the build plate took four minutes and one second, which is amazing. It takes two times less than what the stock did. The stock did 8 minutes 43, camp plus my tweak did 4 minutes and 1 second, which is amazing. 4 minutes and 1 second is a really nice time for it to calibrate everything, do all the programming, get a build, get a better mesh, and do the purge line, and without doing the nozzle wipe cleaning, because like, like, like I said, it doesn't need it for the camp. If you're using the stock calibration, then of course, the nozzle wipe is going to help a lot, but the purging helps a ton because it purge a thick line like this so the width is thick the height is thick and the nozzle print this so this is basically nozzle wiping and nozzle purging at the same time and there's no reason for it to wipe the nozzle at the back of the build plate for me that's just a waste of time a waste of a beautiful build plate and yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> you can also reduce more of time if you get rid of the four corners probing. You can reduce the time even more. I feel like that's not necessary because by doing the extra probing, it just get a little bit better calibration and your first layer is going to be amazing all the time. Using camp without the nozzle wiping, it's amazing. It reduces your print time by significantly two times basically it reduces your print time by two times eight minutes 43 seconds all the way to four minutes and one seconds which is amazing so if you're doing like prototyping or you just want to do a really quick print and the print time takes like four minutes your probing takes four minutes that is nice that's gonna be for this video let me know in the comments down below what kind of modifications have you done with your start print or you have not rooted your printer yet, you just don't really care about anything at all. You just don't care about those things and you just want to print stuff. Even if it takes like 8 minutes, you just print. Let me know in the comments down below. But that'll be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on 3D printing.